Hello and welcome to this introductory demo of PDF to Data by Apprise. Let's get right to it. Let's log into the PDF to Data template manager and editor. The first thing we need to do here is create a new template. We'll give our template a new name. Call it invoice template. We could certainly give it a description here. Now the next step is to select what we call a reference file or a reference PDF. So PDF to data extracts data from PDFs. You can do a predefined blueprint invoice, if you will. Let's go ahead and select something from my local machine here. I have a sample reference invoice. Let's go ahead and open that. Let's go ahead and create the template. Okay, as you can see on the right, PDF to data has rendered this invoice. And it has all the typical things you may find on an invoice, ship to address, uh, the payment details, you know, description of the line items and the total. What we're going to do is create new fields here. I'm going to click new data field. The first thing I'd like to grab from this is the, yeah, the actual invoice number. So I'll just select that here. We'll give this field a name, invoice number. And let me introduce a term that we call selectors. These are the working horses, if you will, of PDF to data. They're very powerful and they assist the template builder in identifying what data is important to be extracted from PDF documents. And as you can see, we go alphabetically here from barcodes, physical positions known as boundary, fonts, dates, integers, pages, paragraphs, tables, prices, and also these selectors can be uh, pipelined, if you will. Output of one can be input for another. So a whole lot of power here that lies within these selectors. So for this particular invoice number, I am going to choose what we call a pattern finder. So the actual data, as you can see, it's DT, a bunch of zeros and 31. So that's not an integer. It's not a price. That's text. I'm going to add a limiter here. I'm going to add a prefix. And as you can see in the invoice, the actual prefix is invoice space number colon. And I'll go ahead and add that as a prefix. We'll click create. And there you can see the result is our DT000031. And we've just successfully defined our first field. Okay, for our second field, I'd like to pick the shipping address. So as in what we've done before, I'm picking create a new data field. And I'm going to select the text that is important for me for this particular effort. We'll give this new data field a name. I'll call this ship to address. And this time I'm gonna add a selector. Uh, let me introduce the boundary selector. That's a physical location on a PDF document. So this is set by a boundary. The next thing is because each page has that particular boundary, I'm gonna limit this to the first page, page one, the one we're looking at. And then lastly, I'm going to add another selector. This is an example of pipelining. This selector will be one called paragraph. And I don't want the text to all run together. Let's click create. And as you can see the result down on the lower left, this is exactly what I need to have extracted. And we've now just created our second field. Let's go ahead back. So two fields. Let's pick a few more. Uh, notice there's a table here. So I can select the table itself. So pretty much put your selector anywhere in the table. We'll give this a field name, call it line item table. The selector itself will be table. And I'm just gonna have PDF to data automatically detect everything. If I needed to tell it what the headers are, I can certainly do that by unselecting this. And I could give it help, but let's go ahead and create this and we'll see what it extracts. Or it's going to extract four rows and five columns. If you actually want to see that data, you can see it here. The four rows, including the headers, 
you could see straight forward and then the uh, each of the table elements there so that's how you do a table let's pick a couple more fields here uh, maybe you would like to grab the grand total or the final total there so you can see it here at 185110 I'll go ahead and select that one we'll give this a field name call it our grand total the selector I'm going to use for this one ah, it looks like that has a has a pattern in front of it so let's go ahead and use the pattern finder again notice that this particular piece of data we can say it's a price and I'm going to add a limiter for this just in like we did before notice that there's the words total including tax in front of it so if I put parentheses you know like I N C L period tax I'll add that as a prefix we'll create it and there you can see the result is our 1851.10 and last but not least if we scroll down the document a bit notice there's a barcode here so I can select that for extraction as well just to show you the power of this and we'll call this our QR code the selector we'd like to use is a barcode and a whole variety of barcode types that we can contend with we'll choose QR here click create and down below you can see the result is a URL uh, that's embedded in that QR code okay so those are the five fields that are important to us for extraction from PDF to data let's go on to the next step all right now that we've selected five data fields let's save this template and I want to show you I'm going to simulate production so here we can see the invoice on the left these are our data fields that we've defined together in this demonstration I could save a new version of this you know, maybe this is uh, version number one from scratch or whatever so not for this demonstration um, but full control over revisions and versions of templates um, and we can that'll be left for uh, another video let's go ahead and save this okay so built right into the editor is a way to test your template and we'll do that now so all right we know what the template is it's called invoice template we know the fields that we define and let's go ahead and select the file that we use to create it so here this reference invoice now is being used as an input document and right now we're simulating production and we've just had our first run we've had these five fields with these values and what we can do is download these results as either XML with metadata or JSON with metadata let's pick the JSON format for this particular demonstration that downloaded to my local instance here and when I click on this my default editor for JSON is um, Visual Studio Code and this is the output from that extraction notice here we have our grand total which was 185110 we have our invoice number if you recall was DT 00031 we have our line item table that has the columnar headings followed by all of the rows with the particular data contained in there we get down to our QR code and the actual test text that we extracted from that and then our ship to address with lines between them so this concludes this demonstration of PDF to data a way to simply extract data from important PDFs without coding